had a very rigid scoring regime. So there were a certain number of points for the scientific methodology and the depth of science there, a certain number of points for communication to be able to get those ideas across in a simple way, and then overall for the presentation on the day. The thing about the shortlisted people for the final is they all have a number of things in common. One is there's some very good scientific thinking and a great deal of imagination, but also they all have some wit about them as well. And I often think that great inventions also have great maverick thinking behind them. For well, doing this challenge we use lots of skills. Obviously we use what we've done in our science lessons and put that into practice. Brainstorming and compromising. and generally working out what would work and then using objects to help us achieve that. There's not one way to tackle one task, there's lots of different ways and more than one works. I think resilience really shone through, the fact that at the end their experiment didn't actually work that well and they weren't downhearted, here's what we're going to do for it right and that was just fantastic to see. There was a lot of teamwork involved in it because there was, everyone had to be in coordination to get the right results down because you had to be ready at the time the result was being recorded. For the winning team, they had just done a fantastic job. It was multidisciplinary, it was about biology, it was about chemistry and physics and engineering. And they'd put all of that together when they looked at the problem they were trying to solve. 